welcome back. Today is going to be very exciting to say the least. So this one's going to be so random, but I'm going to explain why. Today, what we're going to be doing is making a forged carbon longboard, which I literally had a dream about one night and I was like, no, like that needs to happen. So today, that's what we're going to do. Now, what sparked the idea is when I was say 15, 16, uh, I grew up, you know, skateboarding. <laughs> camera died. I can't even get through an intro without the camera dying. But what I was saying is I didn't grow up in California. I wasn't one of those skater dudes, but I did grow up skateboarding. And naturally, what's the next thing you do when you're tired of basically jumping without getting scrutinized by all my people that do skate? I, I know, like, I, I get it. But you get tired of doing that after a while. See how high it goes? That was also an upgrade I did. But you get tired of doing all that. So naturally, what did I do? I made a longboard. So this was out of a piece of plywood. And on the back, reinforced with some fiberglass. Some fiberglass mesh. Now to show you, am I gonna be able to show you this? Yeah, I'm gonna be able to show you this. I'm gonna do it right. You know what? I'm just gonna bring you down to level with it. Cause why not? So this has an incredible amount of flex. So right here in the middle, there is an incredible amount of flex. So for a piece of plywood, I mean, I would say that's pretty gosh darn great. Now, I don't know how this forged carbon one is gonna flex. That I don't know. I would say by the look of the fender that I made a while ago out of the forged carbon, I'm gonna say it's gonna do a little bit less flexing and a whole lot more stiffness. So I'm gonna have to try and think of some stuff to do for that. Let me just let me just get the action shot of this again because this was such a needed upgrade. I mean, for those of you who are clicking on this to see the skate life, you know, this is gonna not entertain you at all. But for me, who also does love my cars, oh, that's fantastic because my hinge was not on before. So, without further ado, I'm gonna get set up with this and we, we are gonna go on a journey with this one. All right, here we go. I can't wait to leave this town Cause lately I've been feeling down The cold nights just don't feel the same Okay, I had to go and get my tool for this, but this is going to be our setup. Let me just, let me bring in. So the plan is, this is from when I was wrapping the car. This is the peel paper that's on the back of the wrap. Now this resin doesn't stick to. I laid this down one day and just, whatever. I, I spilled something on it and just peeled it right off. I was like, you know what? We can use this. I can make good use of it. So I saved some of it for a moment like this where I can lay this down. And I'm gonna staple the back of it. Let me say this in a much less confusing way. What is gonna happen here is this is gonna get laid down like so. I'm gonna take the edges, fold them underneath on all the sides like that to make a nice clean outline, staple on the back, then do the same to this side. And now I have two panels. And the way it's gonna work is I'm gonna put all my carbon and my resin on one side. And I think I'm also gonna use a couple sheets of leftover fiberglass and just kind of get rid of that, use it while I'm here, make good use of it, um, which will strengthen it a little bit more, but I'm not going for the strength on that. It's just gonna add a nice thickness to it, essentially. Without further ado, let's get into this part because I I am getting so antsy to see the final product of this and it's not even day one yet. It's barely even prep step. Let's do it. You know what is so frustrating about coming up with bulletproof plans? When you're out of staples. I didn't want to have to resort to it, but I'm gonna have to, and I'm gonna have to just take this and tape it. I don't, this isn't even gonna stick. Cause nothing sticks to it. This is so bad. Look at, oh my gosh. Excuse me while I go think of a new plan. All 
All right, so the first part is now done. Now the game plan. Put the carbon down, put some resin down, get both together, put down a sheet of fiberglass, a few sheets of fiberglass, whatever scraps that I have. Then to finish it off, obviously roll it out, roll out the, the resin and the carbon. Then this piece is gonna get flipped like so. I am going to put this right over it. And I have eight squeeze clamps that are then gonna be placed and we're gonna squeeze it down until it cures. So I'm gonna start off with, I wanna put a little border around this piece. I, so I'm gonna put like a little bit of clay around the whole thing. I've used it in a project before, but this is so no resin can just flow right off because I want to make one main sheet and then out of the one board that I have currently, the plywood one, I'm going to lay up once it's cured and then we are going to cut that out and then we're going to drill some bolt holes and attach it and we're going to see how it rides. Uh, now, to get across, why am I doing this? The biggest reason right now why I'm doing this is because number one, love working with carbon. I think it's the greatest thing. But number two, this one is getting a little old and I'm starting to hear a little bit of a cracking sound, which I'm not too fond of, but I use my longboard now to do some rollers and to do uh, some filming when it comes to, comes to the car. So it's going to be put to use. And on top of that, having a forged carbon longboard in the trunk, oh, it's going to complete the look. So without further ado, we are going to make us a forged carbon longboard. Alright, so we are just about ready to pour. Now, what I'm going to do is, this is my little mixing jar that I have. I have my drill with just a little thing that I made on it, just so when I have it in there, I can mix it. And I don't have to do it all by hand, because that's what I used to do, and came up with a great idea. Does it for me. So, what I'm going to do is pour my resin in here, and I'm still debating. I really want to use one of my pearls, and I have a blue pearl to match the car with, because I will be keeping this in the back of the car. I think I'm going to wait if I want to do that to the very last step when I could just kind of do a spray on pearl. I'll explain that when it gets to that step. Um, but I'm going to mix up my resin. It's probably going to take two of these, maybe even three. I'm having a feeling that it's going to be closer to three. I'm actually thinking now, I really hope I have enough resin. Really do. I haven't ordered resin in a while. By the way, this is my little makeshift... Uh, rotisserie sort of idea for my resin because it is very cold to be using resins right now and this has been sitting in my garage for quite some time getting cold so I keep having to do this little turning thing and heat it up with these lights these bulbs that are in here are not meant to be in here but they get very very hot put out a lot of heat so I'm doing that to uh, get my resin nice and warm and prepped so what I'm going to do put some resin in here mix it i'm going to pour it on here and then what i'm going to be doing is taking my chopped carbon and i'm just going to lay that right over it and then we are going to be setting sail so without further ado
So with all the resin and carbon laid, this is how we look before we put on our top piece. Very nice and very smooth how I want it. And it's also going to smooth out even more, obviously, once I put the uh, this next piece over it. It is also very cold in here, by the way. Yeah. Just figured I'd fill you guys in on that one because it is a little chilly. But I've been moving. That's why I'm very warm. That's why I am in a t-shirt. So, with this now done, what I'm going to do... But, ooh, sorry. One last thing. The heat gun is your friend. You need to use a heat gun if you are going to be replicating this process because it is a must. So much air gets trapped in underneath all of this. So you want to make sure that you can get all that out. So I'm just going to do this one as is. We're going to take this. Lay this up top, right? That's on both sides. So what I've come to the conclusion of also, I'm going to start with my clamps. And then I'm going to... Before, I was so rudely interrupted by my camera battery dying. But what I was saying is I have eight clamps. I'm going to start off with the clamps. And then I will also use some screws because I definitely think that will help this whole process. So I'm going to start off just by evenly distributing them. the way okay that is going to wrap up tonight that was a great first start now I'm gonna let this sit and cure for probably about two to three days it is currently 44 degrees so this is going to take a while to fully cure if you do plan on doing this make sure you do it with at least 75 degree temperature because that is prime for resin. Right now, it is not prime weather. I just really, really wanted to make this happen. Okay, so I will see you in a second when I come back after these three days. So this has been drying for a full two days. I'm going to take this thing out excitedly so we can see where we are left off. Let's see how we look. Wow, that looks super good. So right along the top, you can already tell it came out very, very nice. You could see all the little chips and flakes in there now. So everything turned out perfect. The one thing that was a little unexpected is within the piece itself is it flexes a little bit too much more than i would hope so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to lay some fiberglass down a piece of carbon board so i didn't post this video yet but i have another thing that i was trying to experiment with that i could show everyone how to just do one of these projects very simply to make what i'm doing with this one is making coasters 
So, what I'm showing with this piece that I did not get to post yet, I'm making coasters out of this as a nice simple way, a nice introduction for everyone to be able to start with. So one side of this is the forged carbon, as you can see, and then the flip side is the regular carbon weave. So, with this, I'm going to be doing a, uh, a sheet of carbon, and then I'm going to do some fiberglass over that to give it some more rigidity, and then I'm going to be able to take both of these and combine them with just another layer of resin, uh, and maybe, I mean, I'm going to have to see how that, how that ends up going, but that is the plan for right now, so we are going to see how it turns out, but that is going to be within the next video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you in the next one. Oh, and if I don't, have a very Merry Christmas. So, I'll see you guys in the next one.